Hi everyone, it is Lisa and as always I am here with my faithful companion Leo. <laughs> we are taking in an afternoon hike today and hopefully we'll get to see the sun setting. I don't know if we'll be up here long enough to see it set but it's absolutely a beautiful time of year where the sun sets a little bit later. Today I wanted to talk about something that keeps coming up in my conversations with people. It's all about timing. And it's, it's interesting that today um, I'm doing an afternoon hike because I didn't believe I had the time to uh, fit a hike in because I was doing a radio show interview this morning when I would normally have been hiking. And of course I realized partway through the day that my energy was sort of waning and I wasn't getting the inspiration that I needed to be doing the writing that I wanted to do. And so I was like, of course, it's, ti it's definitely time to go hiking now uh, to get that inspiration. But as I was hiking, I had this idea of time and timing in my mind. And it's because I have been having a lot of conversations with individuals uh, asking me about the FabTrack program that I am running in April. People are inquiring just about what the program's all about, how much time it's gonna take, and how much dedication they need to have. But I'm also getting people asking me, how do you know if it's your time to do a program like this? Now, I don't want to just talk about that today because it isn't just all about the fab track, but I think this expands further because often I get uh, people asking me the same question, how do I know it's time to leave my job? How do I know when it's time to um, explore the business idea that I've had? Or how do I know if it's my time to do any major change in your life or to hire a coach or to explore the opportunities? And so this idea of timing I know is a bit elusive for people. And I would say that often, you know, you may have heard some of my other videos where I talk about time as one of our major smoke screens. I believe that time is one of those things that allows um, our fear and our ego to get the best of us. It's so easy to say, you know, I don't have time for that or maybe I'll do that later. You know, I love the idea of that someday, you know, I used to do that all the time. I used to say when I wasn't very happy or inspired in my job, I would say, when I figure out what I want to do, I'll go do it. But I actually wasn't figuring it out. You know, I was allowing myself to say someday. It's like this far off fairy tale of Never Never Land. <laughs> and it wasn't until I really, really was ready to make those changes that I actually started to put steps in place. And so there's a couple tips, I guess, that I have for people or ideas, I guess, that I want you to think about if this is you. If you're out there thinking, I just don't know if it's my time yet, there's a couple sort of uh, filters, I guess, that I use um, and I sort of, I guess, clues or triggers that I hear when I'm speaking with people and I know it's kind of their time or not. You know, for this program that I'm running with the Fab Track, I always say I am interested and I am here to help people that want to uh, have some forward momentum, that want a change in their life. I'm not here, this program is not designed to in to convince people it's time to change because if you don't want to change or you're not looking for change, that's fine. Um, so when people ask me if, if it's the right time to do the program, it's really not about me convincing them to, to actually step into this. But what I start to look for um, are some of the triggers. So the other day I was speaking to a woman who I used to work with and um, it's been years and years since I've spoken to this woman and she sought me out and said, you know, I've been following some of your stuff and I want to know more about your program. And we went through the program, we went through the details of the program and I asked her, you know, where are you at in your life and what are you looking for? And I wanted to get a sense of where she was. And so we talked about it um, for about an hour and at the end of it she said, you know, I just don't know if it's the right time, maybe I'll do it next time, maybe I'll wait. And there was a lot of the doubts coming up. And so again, there's this whole idea of is it the right timing for her? Now, what I would say and what I said to her as well was like, you know, the fact that you actually spent an hour with me on the phone talking about this, that you went into the discovery, that you went out of your way to connect with me, that you ha are going out of your way to do some research in other areas, is already an indication that if it's not the time, it's getting very close to the time. Because I think there's these, this progress that we do. I know it was for me that I thought about it for years and years before I ever put some time and energy and effort toward it. So that's, I guess, the first thing I would say to, to you if you are out there going, I don't know if it's my time. If that question is coming up to you more and more, 
you know, it's not, you know, it's not like once a year at New Year's Eve, you think, oh, it would be nice to have some change in my life. And then you don't think about it again. If it's like every morning you wake up and you're thinking, man, I wish I could do something else. You know, if it's like this urgency and this frequency with which you're asking the question, that's a sign. That's a sign that it's either your time or it's getting very close to your time. That's the first indication. The second thing that I would say for people is who are you saying this to? Is it something that's internal in your mind? Are you just sharing it with your spouse or your best friend? And are you sharing with people that are more apt to say or discourage you and say, you know, oh, it's really scary or wouldn't that be nice? We all kind of like that. Or are you sharing it with people that you know will encourage you to actually take some action? So I think about this because a year ago, uh, not a year ago, a year after I left the corporate world, um, one of the girls that I used to work with uh, called me up and asked me to have lunch with her. And she had just been let go from her job, or at least informed that she was being let go. And she say, came to, uh, to speak with me and she said, you know, I've always wanted to start my own business. And I'm wondering, is it time to start that business that I've always wanted to do? Or should I just go get another job? And I know there's opportunities because I've had some headhunters calling me. And so I said to her, I said, did you hear what you just said to me? She's like, what, what did I just say to you? I said, you just asked me if it was time to do what you've always wanted to do or if you should just go get another job. It's like you're shooting on yourself already. And so I said, just be aware of your own language. Of, and so this is my second, the second clue is like, be aware of the language that you're using as you're asking these questions. And of course she had lots of reasons why maybe it wasn't the right time. You know, I think her kids were just about to start going into university and she had to save for that. And I had said to her, I said, so what has to happen for that timing to be right? You know, when your kids were in grade school, you were saying, I just need my kids past this young stage. And then they were in high school and you said, I just gotta get them out of high school. And now it's like, I just gotta get my kids into university. And when they're out of university, are you gonna be saving for their weddings or trying to help them uh, buy their first house? And so, will there always be something in life that um, you can use as a reason not to do it? And so, if you're just looking for reasons not to, you're gonna find them everywhere. I will put it to that. There will be reasons everywhere. And the second thing that I had mentioned to her was that I said, you know, look, you decided to have lunch with me. You didn't, you didn't call up the headhunter and say, let's discuss some of these job opportunities. You chose to have lunch with the person who just left a corporate career and was starting her own business. And so I said, just again, pay attention to where your energy and your efforts are guiding you. And again, I didn't tell her that it was time to leave her job or, or to not get a new job and to get a business because that's not up to me to decide. I think truly the third thing is that the only person that can tell you if it's time is you. So the third thing is really all about tapping into that internal sense of, do you really feel like it's time? Is the thing that's telling you it's not time more your ego or your fear? Is it more about wondering if you are capable, if you have the resources? Because those are completely different questions. And those are things that can we can put resources towards and we can do work um, to, to solve those puzzles or those questions that you may have about that. Whew, that was a lot. That was a lot about timing, but it is all in my mind here and I'm thinking about, you know, the fact that uh, no one gives you permission. No one can give you permission to say that it's time to have this turning point uh, decision in your life. And whether that's huge, like leaving a job, whether it's, it's smaller, like hiring a coach or joining a program, that really gets to be your decision. And I gave you three kind of things to think about is one, is it becoming more of an urgent uh, question for you that you're actually putting some time, energy and effort towards uh, exploring the answers to those questions? That's the first sign. The second sign is, are you actually seeking out people that could help you and encourage you to do that? Or are you still just complaining to the one friend you know who would never encourage you to do that? And third, are you tapping into your own gut reaction of, if I don't do this now, when? You know, what am I actually waiting for? Do I think there'll be uh, something will come along in a year or five years from now? Because the one truth that I know is I don't know how long it will take you to, you know, to find your dream. I don't know how long it's going to take me to fully realize exactly all my dreams. But what I do know is that I waited a long time to actually start. And so if I could tell you that your dream was going to take you five or 10 years to actually manifest, the one thing that I do know 
is that if you wait another day, it will take you five years plus a day. And if you wait another year, a five-year dream takes you six years when you wait a full year to actually get going and, and, and so on. You wait 10 years to do it. It's all of a sudden 20 years to do a five-year dream. Uh, that, the math was wrong on that. 10 years for a five-year dream, 15 years to, to make that happen. I think you get my idea. I think you get the idea. Um, so today, as I am out here just thinking about all the individuals and um, all of you, all of you who are out there sort of thinking, is it my time? Is it my time to really shine? Is it my time to change? Is it my time to, to you know, explore and to, to go towards all of those things that I want to do? That the answer is really, it's in you and you know whether it is your time or not. And um, I'm here to encourage, support, um, and help cheer on anyone who has realized that, you know what, this is my time. And whatever that means, whether that means you want to join a program like mine, whether you are just going to start exploring some other options, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Choose that time on your own. Don't wait for anybody else's permission because there is no better time than to get out there living your best life and finding, you know, your own version of fabulous, whatever that means. And maybe even just choosing to define what fabulous means for you. There's no better time than now. So that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you're out there finding your version of fabulous. And until next time.